I'm going to quickly rifle through all 20 lectures so that way you get a sense for for uh, you get a sense for the entire flow of CS23 VC venture capital and all the all the different timings. So this is lecture one where we're establishing uh, the ideas that we've heard from all the different classes, all the different classes here um, to be parlayed into execution. So engineering 145, engineering 245. Now don't let these intimidate you even though they're free online at YouTube and you don't have to be a Stanford kid to get this. These are all taught literally at the eighth grade level. There is no, there are no big words. In fact, some of the biggest words I use uh, are some of the biggest words that are present. And it's because I'm a dork and I read other people's things. But most of the lectures, uh, both mine and other people's for all these different classes, they're all literally done at the eighth grade level. CS23B is how to start a startup. CS23C is growth scaling, hack printing, uh, I'm not even joking. Uh, and all these VCs, they don't actually go and delve into specifics. They just invite 19 of their closest friends, or 30 in some cases, and they are done on a lecture by lecture guest lecture. So it's literally a shotgun of information. That's what CS23 C's meant to do is to delve deep. For example, CS23 lecture nine, write that down for deployed engineer. If there's any more genius of a phrase, it is that, AKA a salesman. For deployed is before they pay you. Engineer is you. So when you're a Ford deployed engineer, you're actually getting paid to deploy engineering stuff. Genius, right? That's Lecture 9, Peter Thiel, Winter 2010, CS-183. So Guagua Guacamole breaks down the detailed genius things that a VC flippantly will tell us, and then we need to go execute. Engineering 145 is co-founded by Randy Commissar, who help start up uh, Kleiner Perkins Caulfield Buyers, KPCB. Ever heard of them? They used to be great. <laughs> Kidding, they're still awesome. You're going CS23 to GP. It's not a PR resume building VC job. It is actually having to do a lot of real work. Goodness. This is lecture two. And it builds upon so many genius things of lecture five and six from engineering 145. Lecture 3 from CS183E. Lecture 5 from CS183S. These all funnel into Lecture 2 of CS183VC because timing, there's nothing more timely than a dollop of money and income, aka revenue. And I'm pointing towards CS183EUBM. Get it, horse? They haven't done EUBM yet. I have. I rolled it out for you. And the bicycle, that's from Lecture 5, uh, CS183S. These are all footnotes, these are all genius, this is Lecture 2. Completely ridiculous stuff. So, Rakakulous Sanskot. Look at the video where Nikolai Tesla gets screwed by Silicon Valley VCs. Now, Nikolai Tesla was born in the 17 or 1800s, and VCs weren't really around, but they sort of were. He was dicked over by Westinghouse, who then got dr just drilled by uh, by the guy who started GE, um, Morgan. Morgan Stanley Morgan. He started GE, General Electric, and he totally just dicks over Nikolai Tesla, the engineer. So we're no longer going to get screwed over. So we're actually going to be VCs. We're going to be the ones who are doing the dicking. Y equals zero, okay, is Peter Thiel's Lecture 5, CS183B. And you should be scared that I memorize this stuff because it funnels right into CS183VC, which is a lot of times when an engineer does work, he gets paid zero, zilch, nada. And fund money... I'll expand on this in chapter, lecture three. Your fun money comes from another Stanford class called Stram GT. 
353. SRAM GT 353. That class, free also. So, lecture four is about a, getting a base. Remember, we're all talking about timing. We're trying to get a base plus commission. We're talking about a base camp for code, a base pay for you as a CS major, and base revenue for your startup. Timing is so difficult to ace. Because remember, most VCs and PEs, private equity people, they basically give you enough rope to hang yourself with. And then they take over your thing. So ever heard of a founder getting fired from their own thing? That's when a VC or a PE gives you enough rope to hang yourself. And then they make money off of your bad timing because you put in a bunch of sweat equity. Remember, we don't even own the stock at a lot of these companies. The stock that we started for our own company is actually given back to us. Think about that. We don't even own stock in the company. We're on a on a four year uh, four year vest with a one year cliff. Not good. That's what CS twenty three is solving is timing because I care about your timing. There's a catch twenty two as it relates to so many things and. Timing is where, oh, I need a better job and I can't get that better job till I get more experience. Or I want to be a VC, but I can't be a VC until I've invested. And I can't get that money until see where this is going, right? So the Catch-22 just beats a bunch of cliche problems. And the solutions are PRPRPI, stealing eggs, these are all hashtags, thrust drag and the 10x effect these all help for timing because catch 22 uh, is a killer and catch 22 in of itself is actually genius because you have to fly 22 missions in world war one before you get to retire and guess what everybody every pilot dies at mission number one two three or four they never make it to 22 that's where a catch 22 comes from this is when to touch the money, when to pass through money, when to do a Schedule C. Schedule C is money in, money out on your taxes. And if you're curious about some of these tax issues, it's under CS183 tax and CS183 law. This diagram is CS183 EUBM. So this is lecture six, CS183 VC and it talks about money and engineering up a business model which is hashtag CS183 EUBM engineer up a business model this is from lecture 5 engineering 145 is engineering up a business model I think it's 5 10 and 11 under engineering 145 lectures 5 lecture 10 lecture 11 write those down timing this is the bicycle model and bicycle is lovely because the Wright brothers they didn't get venture capital money they're engineers who sold bikes to fund inventing an airplane this isn't my words or my theory this is 1306 West 3rd Street there's a hashtag for that too it's in the movie it's in the movie it's in the book the Wright brothers they haven't made it in a movie and it's a bike it applies to us for chapter lecture six because when we're doing a startup there's no need and no trust so battling no need and no trust helps us all with timing so we want to do the bike model at an industry conference which helps for timing for whatever we're investing in as engineers apis arbitraging application protocol interface calls a ton of value it's so easy to do and when you sell somebody on an API explain to them what an API is everyone's talking about AI okay you're trying to time yourself with AI the markets going to eat you alive because AI not ready for business yet but if you put a P in the middle of AI you get API an API hasn't even yet begun to take effect and positively affect the economy. So we want to arbitrage application protocol interface calls. There's a ton of value in that, and that's what Lecture 3 CS23 VC is about, is arbitraging API calls. Genius. Now, 
this is the prequel, this is you. So in the Sharpie area, this is the chasm that you're trying to cross. This is you. And what you want to ask, because we're trying to game timing, is we want to ask, what prequel is this? So once you realize the prequel, that's this part. Okay, this is the prequel. The prequel already has Main Street cat crossed. So you want to DJ in what prequel is this? What sequel is this? So this is you, okay? The sharp area. That's Engineering 145. That's CS183B. That's some half-baked, quarter-baked startup. Now, if you've ever studied Dave McClure, yes, the same Dave McClure that started 500 Startups, he talks about a concept called half-baked. So being three-quarters baked is Lecture 8 CS183VC. What's three-quarters baked? It's crossing the chasm from the right. Are you getting sick of me saying this already? Because all I do is say cross the chasm from the right. Lecture 9 cs 183 3 VC is about timing parades. Remember, VCs never want to start a parade. They want to join a parade. And we bet there's a parade to join somewhere and an after party. This is the most mind-numbingly simple thing to do when you're a founder, is to do an after party uh, for a real-world conference that's from Lecture 6. R2D2 VC is the basis for trying to automate and trying to be an engineer and where engineers are the new form of venture capital. You don't need money anymore. You need engineering talent. Engineering talent is worth 10x. This isn't me saying this. This is Guy Kawasaki saying this. The valuation of a startup team for every MBA, doc a million dollars for, for every engineer add a million dollars. So if you've got engineering founders that are promoting, you're going to do a lot of business revenue subroutines, such as UTWM PPM. You should be scared that I can just rolls off right at my tongue because it's engineer up a tidal wave of momentum, perpetual promotion machine. LTMVP, that's from lecture six, and that's less than minimum viable party. That's also lecture nine, CS23 VC. LCRRM, Larry Chang Reverse Rebate Model, where you're priming the pump for revenue, and then doing lead generation. If you're an engineer and you can do a little bit of lead gen, big, big, big ups. C3PO's okay? Not so much. That's the old form of venture capital. Lecture 11, CS183 VC. How do you feel when an econ major sells you on CS stuff? That's the world. The answer, startup death spiral that's from steve blank he taught engineering 245 as a spin out to engineering 145. engineering 245 took place in the design school i know this is a lot of inside stanford issues but these matter because engineering 245 is a sequel to 145. engineering 245 has this as an issue startup death spiral and if you look closely it's bitly S blank for Steve blank 710, bitly S blank 711, bitly S blank 712. Lecture 11 solves startup death spiral. Problem is the VP of sales timing is automatically horrible. Most startups that die, die due to startup death spiral. Steve Blank still hasn't solved this yet, and I have, and that's what Lecture 11 is meant to do, is Lecture 11 is letting you know that there's 20 lectures of CS183 VC that solve startup death spiral. I call this Lecture 11 because Chapter 11 of my mentor's book, What They Don't Teach at Harvard Business School, talks about failing forward, which is what we're trying to do here. Fail forward. Do you bring sand to the beach? I argue yes. And no. So when you say, oh, don't bring sand to the beach, you're talking about, you know, do you go bring a woman to meet women at a bar? So I say you sort of do, and that's what helps you with timing, is you, most people end up waiting for a partnership. They end up waiting for a marketplace to develop. They end up waiting for a contract to close or waiting for a VC to buy stock or waiting for a press or an analyst to ink your product as the best new thing ever. 
No, no, no. So the solution is you actually do want to bring sand to the beach by focusing on how venture capital ties into computer science, ties into sales. That's the three prong effort. That's lecture 12 is a dozen genius signature street smart signature business recipes. That's lecture 12 CS23 VC. Gua gua guacamole, there are 36 recipes. If you just type in gua gua guacamole, uh, how to go from crasher to VIP, uh, how to make money while you're making money, HT, EUTWM, PPM, uh, all under gua gua guacamole, they help you with timing. Gua gua guacamole is also lecture two, engineering 145. Lecture 14, losers of a business plan competition, okay. Doing a business plan is, in and of itself, not very useful. But planning is useful. So you want to do, instead of a business plan competition, you want to do a business model competition. So that's where you're on a team that's failed. They should want to be a VC. They network and do corp dev like a VC. And what you're trying to also tie into is an external API. There's that phrase again, application protocol interface. So, so you want to try as VCs, Lecture 14 is about taking losers of a business plan competition and then helping them be winners. So you want to first tie into selling it before you build it. Everyone's out there building stuff. And most of the stuff that we're building, it's already in existence. This is the money shot. All the things that are counterintuitive and the things that work out for us. That's lecture 15. Sell it before you build. Paul Buchheit, uh, Bitly P. Buchheit 710. The non-employee co-founder concept is some of the most genius things that have never been talked about. So that's non-employee co-founder. So many companies are started by a VC who is then themselves not an employee. Thus, non-employee co-founder. Non-employee co-founder. You should probably pause and write down everything I just wrote. Chapter 17, lecture 17. No, I'm not turning this into a book. That's not a Freudian slip. Dumbing down sandbagging for success. DDSS works best if you look smart and dumb it down. It's CS23 putty, but it works for CS23 PUSE, which you'll need to Google. So DDSS is all about helping you and me with timing. CS23 VC Lecture 18 is ROTJ, Retire on the Job, which is a expansion of ROTJ, Retire on the Job, CS183E, Lecture 18 also. I wish you tons of luck with uh, your distribution effort and taking notes inside of CS183VC.